So define MPC extension and DPC extension classes. So first MPC and DPC are the base classes. Whenever we generate the OData service, it automatically created two different classes. One is MPC, another one is DPC. So there are classification on it. First is base classes. MPC and DPC are the base classes. Along with that, it creates MPC extension and DPC extension classes as well. Okay. And uh, MPC is nothing but a model provider class. In other words, we can say whatever we do or design, those are coming under MPC classes. Whatever you do in the wizard level, that needs to be converted in a code, right? So those are coming under model provider class. And uh, we can, easy reference, we can say it's a design of our OData reference, OData service, sorry. And DPC is nothing but a data provider class. It's nothing but a, it feeds the data to the UI. Okay, so data manipulations, all your data manipulations based on the business scenario is now happening in your DPC classes. You can see uh, once you generate, you can go and see all the inherited, okay, not the redefined uh, methods, all the inherited methods have its own kind of a code, but it's in a commanded way, right? So those are the place where you can start writing your own code. So that is nothing but DPC classes. And uh, both are derived from the base class. So MPC is a base, MPC extension is a uh, extension class, same for the DPC as well. So both MPC and DPC base class is, is getting refreshed or overwritten on every service regeneration process. Meaning if you change something in your OData, if you regenerate it or generate means activate your OData service, automatically these two classes are getting refreshed or overwritten. So that is why always people say don't write any custom things on your base class. So for that only we have an extension classes. And uh, MPC extension is if you want to enhance your OData model. For example, M MPCs always carry the design, right? So I have an entity, but I want to uh, make a deep entity um, for my business scenario. So that is not possible in the wizard level. So in the, in the design or in the wizard level, you're not able to uh, create a deep entity structure. So that can be done only through code and that is coming under MPC extension class. Same way DPC extension class, as I mentioned, by default you have some code but it's always commented. Mostly we never use that. So but a DPC extension class is a place where you can start writing your own custom code, especially to achieve the code operation. So the conclusion is base classes are getting regenerated. So data will be lost. Don't write any custom things on base classes, but extensions are not regenerated. So you can write all your custom uh, logic based on the business scenario in extension classes only. Thank you.